Hello, this is Brandon from Android Authority. Today I'll be reviewing ICQ Mobile for Android. And here's what we got so far. Um, there's contacts, chats, feeds. Uh, this will be any feed from Twitter, Facebook, or whatever. And here's where you post your statuses and notifications. Um, so far, don't, I've had a few problems with the app. Um, the biggest two would be I cannot sync my Facebook feed with the app. So I cannot post statuses to Facebook, but I can post them to Twitter and ICQ. Um, my second one is I cannot link my phone to ICQs, so my phone number won't sync with ICQ. So I can't send text from my computer through my phone through that feature. Also, the last thing I uh, really don't like about it is it is pretty draining on the battery. So it brings my battery down pretty quick. Um, otherwise, uh, it's pretty straightforward. It, you know, you go like this, chat, and there you go. That's yeah. That's chat, that goes right to your Facebook feed. Also, I mean, here's posts in a status. I did just did that one a little while ago. Here's another one. Yeah. Simple and this will post to Twitter, Facebook if you can get it synced, and ICQ and whatever else you want it to. As you can see the little icons there. So there we go. Chat. Let me delete this. And then you close chat windows. You got options. You know, you can go like this. View Facebook profile. It's nice if you can get it all to work. Um, if you can deal with the battery drain, I can't deal with it. I need my battery throughout the day. Uh, any other Facebook apps will work with it, but this would be nice to consolidate them all down. But I don't th really think it's worth the battery drain. Overall, if you're a big ICQ fan, I would recommend it. Um, give it a shot at least. Otherwise, if you just use Facebook or anything else, I wouldn't recommend this over that. It has a few problems that just hold it back. And that's ICQ. Mobile for Android.